What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video coming off our first win of the year against the Chicago Bears. We have another division matchup this week against the 0-4 Minnesota Vikings. Tough start to the year for them. And we had a very eventful episode last week if you did not watch it. Amani Uruwarie got upgraded from normal to star dev. Also got a huge upgrade at the end of the episode to get him up to a 79 overall. Plus two speed was involved. It was really, really excellent. And we have another breakout challenge this week. Sure, I can sit here and tell you guys that Hawthorne's my day-to-day -day for shampoo, conditioner, shaving gel, body wash, hand soap, everything like that. But have you ever thought about you know, how your favorite athletes determine what grooming products to use? It's pretty simple. They just use Hawthorne just like I do. Tyrod Taylor, new starting quarterback of the Houston Texans, presumably for 2021. We just rebuilt the Texans on this channel. Video already up of that. He uses Hawthorne. And it's so easy to get customized products exclusively for you. You go to hawthorne.co, H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O. You can use my link in the description. You answer questions with their simple, simple quiz from what describes your ideal body wash to how bad do you stink. At the end of the quiz, they're going to tailor your bathroom from the 500,000 combinations. And to get your customized products, all you got to do is enter your email. You know, I really thought for the longest time that the shampoo is my favorite product, but now I'm starting to think that maybe the conditioner has made the biggest difference and you will notice a difference. So get ready for whatever comes your way this season and go to hawthorne.co, H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O, and use code BANGLE10 to get a 10% discount. Again, that's hawthorne.co, and use code BANGLE10 to get a 10% discount on your first purchase. What are you waiting for? Who's getting upgraded this week? Deshaun Hand, two sacks last week against Chicago, says he wants to be one of those guys who can do that every week. Ready to take the next step. Let's bring it to the Vikes this week. Well, all right. If we hold the Vikings to 100 rushing yards or... Get to Sean Hand, one interception, not going to happen. Force fumble, tackle for loss, or sack. He goes up to star dev. That could be huge. That would make Deshaun Hand part of my long-term plan. So let's be real about that. Let's check out the news, see if there's anything draft content related. No stories about the draft yet? Huh, interesting. All right. Well, we're going to scout some college players. Looked at a quarterback last week that I think has a lot of potential in the form of Alex Soto out of LSU. And we'll check out safeties this week. Safeties aren't great. Derek Davidson. B-plus man coverage? Is this Derwin James? Is that who this is? Is that Derwin James? Okay, Derek. I don't really think I'm going to look at these guys too much. What about free safety? Jamal McMillan doesn't look anything crazy. Jaden Freeman is better, but bad. What about corners? Hmm, interesting, but I think I think Derek Davidson is certainly warranted to uh, to join our draft board. As we mentioned at the end of last episode, Amani uh, Uruwaria to get star, but Levi Anzarike is available to play again, coming back from injury, so he will take the field. And we have 31 staff points, so we could actually do a lot with these. But what do we want to use them on? Let's see here. Could use them on... Mm, I don't really need the talent refunds, but I want to access an additional focus player. I wish I could bypass that. Because I don't want it. I don't want it. But let's see. Who would we be more likely to replace? Offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator? Probably... Probably a defensive coordinator, at least for right now. So we'll buy that. And then, let's see, premier destination. Increase the hiring bonus when signing a defensive coordinator. It's not going to be relevant right now, but it could be in the future. We have to meet these as well, too. We're going to get all those. Okay. So that's, that's good to know, I guess. Weekly management. What do we want to do here? Weekly strategy. How do we stop the Vikings? It's going to be defending the outside run. I'm on board for that. And then how are they going to even try and stop us? Running inside has not worked. Top threat is Michael Pierce, apparently. I think... Let's see here. I think throwing it... I think their secondary is bad. And we have plus five deep accuracy 
and medium accuracy, I believe, for Jared Goff the next while. We're going to try and take advantage of that. So let's do 350 yards passing here. And see if we can air it out deep on the Minnesota Vikings. Like the game plan boosts are kind of cool. I definitely like that. Hopefully nobody's injured. Quad strain for Ratliff Williams and PCL sprain for Amon Ross St. Brown. Shoulder strain for TJ Hawkinson. We might go to half pads next week. Three injuries and one to a big starter. And Jeff Okuda's got a hit pointer. Oh, we have an upgrade to our penis Eni. John penis Eni, that is. Let's go ahead and uh, how can we extend that? That's always what you're looking to do. I think I think we're just going to make him a run stopper. He comes in in goal line situations. And when you want to pound it in, Penasini is going to be your guy. He's going to he's going to shut that down. But let's go ahead and pop in to our season game against the Vikings. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Scroll down. Make sure you're subbed. I know you're binging the videos. I appreciate you. Make sure you're subscribed. On the road at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minnesota this week. They've got a little bit of momentum to start as the home team. And Kanate Nwongu's back to return. The rookie out of Iowa State. Didn't play a whole ton at Iowa State. At least as a real running back. Behind David Montgomery and then behind Brees Hall. And here's Kirk Cousins spinning and winning. Three touchdowns, two interceptions. Looks like this has been a very run-heavy team so far. Yeah, we need to look to shut down the run. I don't think they're going to throw the ball too often based off of a... Uh... Oh, nice tackle, Tracy Walker. Based off of what Kirk Cousins' numbers were looking like. Unless he missed a week or two. But they're 0-4. To only have three touchdowns passing and two interceptions in that time. Kind of weird. Obviously, I'm used to seeing a lot more interceptions. Quick throw to Thielen. Get eight yards right back. Third and three. Oh, man. That's going to be going deep. Corn Elder, Moss. Moss. Adam Thielen just went up right over him. Vikings fans, you seeing Randy Moss doing that. Adam Thielen against Corn Elder. Not a good matchup for me. Not a good matchup. It's going to be a run right into Jamie Collins. And there's a Lee McNeil, big rookie out of NC State, making a nice tackle. But we need Deshaun Hand. We need Deshaun Hand to get a big TFL or a sack, which what we're probably going to do is just dial up the heat all game. Quick screen, all over it. Let's go. Dalvin Cook loses a yard. Going deep. Or Warrior. New upgrades and doesn't get a chance to show them. That falls incomplete out of the back of the end zone. And the Vikings are going to try a field goal here. Not a particularly deep one. It's not, it's not super short either. But that is up and good with plenty of room. 17 picks for Goff so far. Got to try and limit those. <laughs> Got to try and limit those the rest of the year, I think. It's going to be my goal. Quick throw to Quintez Cephas. Nice first. We're going to run outside. Give me a good block. DeAndre Swift gets a few. Nice little five-yard gain to start things off. He's been really bad this year. I feel like the blocks just haven't really developed. He's been completely useless. Don't really know what to do about that. Just kind of how things have been. Kind of the way things are. Quick throw back to him, though. Stay in bounds, DeAndre. Of course not. Also, where is TJ Hawkinson? Is he injured for this game? Oh, my goodness. Going to be intercepted, but out of bounds. What? Apparently in bounds there. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. So here was the plan. I saw the drag at first. I didn't really think that was a bona fide way to get a first down. Just wasn't. Nothing's really open. So I start to roll out at this point, right? And then I see that. I playmaker him up the field. Like, that's what that was supposed to be. He doesn't move, obviously, because the game sucks. And, um, you know, I lob it, anticipating him to run up the field into the wide open space. Didn't move again. You can see when I try to playmaker him, right? Right 
Boom. I click right stick up here. He doesn't move. And then I lob it up. He hasn't moved. <laughs> uh, and then it gets intercepted. Uh, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to throw 40 interceptions this year. I'm going to break the record. They're going deep. Will Harris intercepted right back on the next play. Let's go, Will. We have room to return this as well. Will Harris back to the 30. Let's go, Will. That's open. Stay in bounds, Quintez. All right. Uh, we'll take the catch at least. Hitting Darren Fells. Nice. I'm, every time I throw an interception, it brings me further and further away from Jesus. I'm not religious, and it's because of this game, probably. We had some options. It probably would have been intercepted if I tried to throw it to anyone. Fourth and four from the 49. You know we're going for it in this spot. You know we are. What does a punt do? Maybe he gets us 25 yards of field positioning. Where four yards from midfield can keep the drive alive. What are the odds of getting the first? 100%. Darren Fells. Let's go, baby. Throw over the middle to Swift. Oh, get out of the way or block. Let's see what the CPU is going to dial up for us here. PA shot. This feels like a bad time for that. Mm. Let's put Darren Fells on an out. Cephas on a post. I don't I don't know if I like this very much. Up the middle. Do we have it? Quintess Cephas! Touchdown! We fit it in! Not even with John Penasini either. Quintess Cephas touchdown. I'm shocked with the way this game has gone so far that, that we actually get something going our way. But we love to see it. 7-3 Lions. That's huge. Third and four. Can I get out, please? Oh, Oruwari is going the wrong way. It's not good. Let's play action. We've been fooled. Might work out for the best. Where are you going? To run to the right. Oh, that's a good cut. Oh, and he's still going. He's still going. End zone. That's going to be a touchdown. Justin Jefferson finds the end zone. The Lions are going to allow seven. Vikings are going to take the lead 10 to seven to start the second quarter. All right. We know what we're dealing with. How do we beat the safety blitz here? Play action, perhaps? And then maybe a quick throw into kind of triple coverage? That looks open enough for me. Darren Fells, toe drag, first down. Underneath, you need to at least chip Harrison Smith there. Do something. Need a block. I'm going to try to do something on the outside here with DeAndre Swift. There we go. There we go. I just took a punch to the face. Second and ten. Ooh, I think, I think Darren Fells is... Our best bet there. All right, let's see if we can take Harrison Smith on Darren Fells. I think we did. I think we did. What a weird angle. Quintez Cephas, touchdown. Touchdown number two for Cephas. They're just not covering that. Jared Goff with a really weird arm slot there for no reason. And it's a beautiful throw. Quintez Cephas clearly gets two down. Mm, all right, that right foot was a little close to the white there. It shouldn't have been, but when did it actually plant? That's why it's super tough to say. I want to call that a touchdown. One foot clearly down. The right foot's down as well. I mean, that very obviously drags. Are they going to count it? It's got to be a touchdown. It has to be. It is a touchdown. If this is overturned, I'm going to be furious. Thank you. Thank you. Gonna be 14-10. Dude, I'll tell you, 
I've seen things like that in previous Maddens be overturned because they don't count it until the plant, even if he dragged. 14-10. Let's go, Quintez. Deshaun Hand is not in on every play with Levi Anzariki coming back. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our depth chart and make sure... First of all, is Hawkinson injured? He is. I don't know how we didn't know that. We're going to take out Anzarike and bring in Deshaun Hand for this game. We need him to make some plays. Shoulder strain, ready to play. We're not going to force him. I guess some of these guys are playing through injury. I haven't really seen Amon Ross St. Brown in today. He's not even in the injury report. Huh. I guess maybe Hawkinson got injured in this game? That's something. Another throw away for Cousins. Up the middle. Forcing a throw from Cousins, I hope. We just blitzed everybody. Collins down the field. Out of bounds. Khalif Raymond back to return. I'm not sure he's had a return over like three yards this year. That might be as long. Rolling out. I think we can get that. A lot of makeup speed. Tyrell Williams catches it. Oh my goodness. Xavier Woods couldn't make the play. Tyrell Williams touchdown. We actually won a jump ball. I hardly believe it. Tyra Williams was kind of stuck for a minute here, and I was really wanting to throw that. And then we just ended up trusting him, giving him a shot. And Xavier Woods completely out of position. And then it was just a run after the catch for a TD. Let's go. Run up the middle. Oh, it's play action. And that one, thankfully incomplete. Corn Elder almost bossed and mossed again. Running the outside. Ooh, nice tackle for loss. Now, it's Romeo Aquara and not Deshaun Hand. We need Deshaun Hand to make one of those plays. He's actually in on these plays now. Can we help him out? Take on the center. Just quickly. Just quickly. Corn Elder. Nice tackle. Minnesota should punt again. Cutting this back. Ooh, there we go, DeAndre. Four yards. Five yards even. That's like best case scenario. Actually, let's flip this. Let's flip this. Because if we're going to throw that slot fade again, I don't want it to be at Harrison Smith just because he's like he's good enough to get in the play. And we can just keep doing that. Quintus Cephas, another catch. Can I get that in there? We're going to try it. Quintus Cephas, touchdown number three for Cephas. Quintez Cephas have a freaking game. Three touchdowns for Quintez Cephas. He is balling out. Another crazy throw from Goff. Thread the needle. And then Quintez Cephas holds on through traffic. We love to see it. Should we try and shed with Deshaun Hand manually? Make a play? I think that's a way to not get it done. Almost did though. And that's almost intercepted by Oruwarie. Oh, Ori Warrior with the pick! How did he even do that? Amani Ori Warrior tried to outrun Dalvin Cook and he's out of bounds at the 14. That's one of my cheese picks that I get, that I throw. Quick throw to Cephas. Eric Kendrick's going to wrap him up. Quintus Cephas has three touchdowns in the first half. And it's we're not forcing him the ball. He's just getting open third and three quick throw to fells that's got to be a first i think it's got to be versus goal swifty up the middle touchdown untouched untouched for deandre swift he throws nothing the ball was in the other hand deandre 35 to 10 in the first half we love that Oh, and down goes Cousins. It's Romeo Aquara. We're going to call timeout to just try and put a ton of pressure on Cousins. I mean, see if we can uh, see if we can get Deshaun Hand. 
what he needs. Probably won't happen though. Probably won't happen. Is that it? Is that it right there? Oh, we got a yard. You gotta be kidding me. That was our TFL right there. We're gonna keep throwing it deep. We've been killing it. Um, here's the thing. Like, the punt would be way deeper if there was like 40 seconds left in the half. Trust me. But we're gonna get the ball to start the third quarter up 35 to 10. No way we lose this game, right? Right? Quick throw! Incomplete on third and two. Okay, we're gonna have to punt. Not really a situation where you would even consider going for it, clearly, so the punt is going to be back and fairly returnable, it looks like, actually. Ife Atumela Fanwu gonna be down there in coverage. He's still gonna be Gunner this year. There's just really no spot for him. Quick run to the right side. Is Deshaun Hand involved in that? You know, he might have been. He might get credit for that. They're not going to give it to him. Deshaun Hand still working on that TFL. He was involved, just didn't make the play, I guess. Second and 11. Fill the lane. Uh, I don't know how he's running over these. Okay, Dalvin Cook. Third and three. If this is not a run, we are screwed. If it is a run, I think we can shut it down. Oh, the ball comes out! It's recovered by Will Harris! And Harris, with an interception this game, now is a fumble recovery. Looked like Jamie Collins forced that one out. Cousins just didn't have enough time to react. We blitzed everybody, and it's another turnover by the Vikings. Third and four. Let's see what gets open here. Underneath, Cephas first down. Kind of forced it to him that time. But also, it was kind of the safest throw. Maybe the backside out, or backside dig, excuse me. Just a quick throw. Fells. She's going to take what we can get. Now when the ball comes out, Jared Goff fumbled. Too scared to throw some of those, and we just held it too long. Rolled into Daniel Hunter. And Goff put the football on the ground. A lot of great offense here in the second half so far. Quick throw and incomplete. Looks like Jelani Tavai had a real shot at that. Third and four. I mean, we're going to keep sending blitzes. I think it gives us the best chance to get to Sean Hand in there. Quick throw. It's easy completion to Thielen. Oh my goodness, how do we not tackle him there? How are we not tackling her, Smith? Oh, Dalvin Cook's gonna probably have a touchdown here. The ball comes out! Big hit by Will Harris and Oruarie recovers. Will Harris have a game, by the way. A forced fumble, a fumble recovery on two separate plays, an interception. I'm loving this, I'm loving this. Little lob, Cephas. Would have been nice to break that tackle. Swift, we got space. We, we made a man miss. I, I don't even believe it. A little bit of room to run with Swift, but Harrison Smith takes us out. Jonah Jackson's down. That's not good. I want square here. Ah! I don't think we had it. High ankle sprain. All right, Evan Bohm's coming in. That's why it's good to have at least okay depth. It's not good, but, it, you know, he, he's all right. That's open. Gotta hit that. Gotta hit that. Quintus Cephas, one-hand snag. This is the coming out party of Quintus Cephas. He's been unbelievable this game. Is that intercepted? Really? Okay. Yep. Second interception of the game. That one was useless. Um, I just want to take another look, see if I missed anything. So here we are. Jared Goff. Gun empty. I mean, nothing's open here. Like, maybe you think you can fit this thing in the backside, but 
He's running across the middle. I know how that would go. Pressure's coming in. I mean, I thought we had something in there. I, I, I thought at least it would not be an interception. The throw, obviously, is not where it needed to be, but that's tough when every single throw that isn't wide open to pick. That is the end of the third quarter. I still managed to throw two interceptions minimum in this game. That's sad for me. We still need to throw for 350 yards to get big-time XP or stat points or something. And we're about 40 yards off that. And that's going to be maybe a touchdown. Yet yeah, we're a warrior, not close. Tracy Walker saves a TD, but for how long? We're basically going to commit to the run here. If they want to pass, they can pass. But you have Dalvin Cook. I don't think it's going to happen. Tavai, big hit. And Trey Flowers finishes things up. Andrew Wiley is the injured Viking. Penisini into the game. Love to see that. Love to see the Penisini in. Another run up the middle. Tavai, another huge hit. Deshaun Hand playing edge in the 4-4. That's interesting. Roll out into him. And he throws it away on third and goal. Questionable. But I threw it away on fourth down a couple games ago. Because I lost track. They're going for it. I guess that's why you throw it away. Because you know you need a touchdown. Over the middle. And that, dude, Corn Elder never found the football. Thankfully incomplete. All right, from the five. Let's try and run out of this. Really wanted to cut that back. There just wasn't room. There wasn't room. Third and six. Rolling out. Somebody's got to get open. We're just going to run it with Goff. It's just safer. Run outside. One man to beat. You got to beat Kendricks. Well timed Juke does just that. Oh, that was such a good spin back. Why did you let go of the ball, DeAndre? Oh, my God. Oh, it was Jamal Williams is why. It was a perfect spin back. Anthony Barr somehow latched onto him from behind. Oh, my goodness. That could have been so sick. And, and instead, it was not. Not so sick. Lobbed up. That's completed. <laughs> I don't get these animations. Up the middle. That's a touchdown. Dalvin Cook TD. The lead's going to be cut to 35 17. I mean, can we air that out deep? I feel like we had a step with Khalif Raymond, and we did it. Khalif Raymond from the 18 to the 22. That's how you change fields. He was running a wheel from the slot and just outran everybody. Goff aired it out, and we got it. 70-plus yards in the air. Oh, my goodness. 59-yard catch, but the 70 air yards, we obviously dropped uh, back a little bit. As Swift is going to have some space, and I think he gets 10. Everson Griffin. I mean, I just kind of panicked on that one. That's just that's just bad on me. Just bad there. Third and 12. Doesn't really matter a ton. Because we have a nice little lead. And we have a nice little first down. Tyrell Williams. Inside the five, down to the three. 400 yards passing for Jared Goff. Second and goal. They're basically run committing. Oh my god. DeAndre Swift is not R1. <laughs> Oh, the buttons. Why do they change them all the time, man? Uh, I really thought the back was going to be R1 there. Okay. Really, really, really frustrating on that one. Quick throw. Tyrell Williams! That's got to be a touchdown. Doesn't end up mattering. That I pressed a button of not a receiver the previous play. Tyrell Williams TD. And our offense exploded this game. 42 points. Love to see it. Oh, that's super open. Okay. The Vikings were doing this all game. We would lose by a million. Oh, that's intercepted. Tracy Walker. 
What are the Vikings doing? You know Kirk Cousins is not winning this foot race. Tracy Walker, pick six. And that is the dagger. As if it wasn't obvious already, a Tracy Walker pick six just kills all hope the Vikings had of getting back in this game. We need something with Deshaun Hand, dude. Please, please get in after him. He's getting double teamed. It's just not a good matchup. And of course, Trey Flowers gets in off the edge. Maybe his first career sack in Detroit. Has he showed up at all? Did anyone even remember he's on the team? Deshaun Hand, get off your blocks, kid. Corn Elder. Moss again, but thankfully he had help from Tracy Walker. And the Vikings have uh, waved the white flag here, conceded defeat. I don't think we're getting star dev with Deshaun Hand, which makes me sad. Quintez Cephas is getting a jet sweep to end the game here. <laughs> this is the final play. And uh, you know what? He gets a yard, maybe. And uh, that's going to be it. Game over. Crushed Minnesota. 49-17. Our second win of the year. The Vikings stay winless, and I can see why. This was not a very hard game, I guess. The Vikings sucked. Quintess Cephas was unreal. Jared Goff played pretty well. Two picks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I will throw interceptions. Kirk Cousins is hype. Yeah, we just lost by 30. Let's go, baby. Jared Goff, five touchdowns, 78% completion percentage, 415 yards through the air, two picks. Rushing DeAndre Swift actually averaged four yards per carry, 20 for 80, touchdown. Broke one tackle. So you like that? Receiving. Quintess Cephas, 200 yards and three touchdowns for Quintess Cephas. Yeah, he was unstoppable. He was unstoppable. Quintus Cephas just earned himself some playing time. Tyrell Williams, three for 95, two TDs. Khalif Raymond caught a bomb. That's fun. Tracy Walker had eight total tackles, one for loss. Trey Flowers, three for loss. Deshaun Hand, not in there. Sacks for Aquara, Flowers, Collins. Interceptions for Tracy Walker, Amani Warawarie, and Will Harris, who also had a forced fumble and a fumble recovery. Jamie Collins forced the other fumble. And that was recovered by Amani Urawarie. Or that was recovered by Will Harris. The one that was forced by uh, Will Harris was recovered by Urawarie. And a touchdown for Tracy Walker. What a game. Big upgrades here. Frank Ragnow is nearing a 90 overall. Let's do power. Get him in the scheme fit. He's up to a 90. Plus two with... What is TMP? Team... Team something? Can we see here? 51 morale. I mean, it's morale, but what's TMP? I don't know. I have no idea what it means. Jamie Collins will go up to an 80 via Fuel General. And Jamie Collins could be traded. I'll be honest with you guys. The team could be gutted a little bit. Come a little bit closer to the midseason mark. Closer to the trade deadline. Taylor Decker playing up to an 80. We're getting rolling, though. We've won the last two games. We're 2-2-1 two, two, and one now. And breakout player, Deshaun Hand. Oh, you know what? Maybe we held the Vikings to below the appropriate amount of yards. So Deshaun Hand actually gets star dev and 10,000 XP. So even though he didn't do anything individually, I guess we held them to under 200 yards rushing. Maybe. I guess. Must have been, right? So Deshaun Hand goes up to star dev. That makes him a lot more valuable. And then we actually have a prospect spotlight. A bunch of players back from injury. Three real impactful players in Amon Ross St. Brown, Jeff Okuda, and TJ Hawkinson. But it's going to be a really interesting week six against the Bengals. And I'll see you guys for the next one on that. Get to find out what prospect spotlight's all about. Weekly awards we're going to check out right now because Quintez Cephas, yeah, one Offensive Player of the Week. And Tracy Walker won Defensive Player of the Week. I probably would have given it to um, Will Harris, honestly. Probably would have done that. 
but the touchdown from Tracy Walker, I suppose, puts him over the top. Anyway, guys, that is about going to do it for the video. We are going to upgrade Deshaun Hand. Might as well, right? Run stopper's boring. Yeah, let's get his power moves up. Hopefully, it goes up to like 75 here. And he's almost upgraded again, which is nice. So maybe after next game, you'll get upgraded. Plus one speed's cool. But that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Over you, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.